In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best dropshipping supplier to use in 2024 and into 2025, as well as how to use the supplier, how to set it up on your store, and everything you need to know in regards to actually getting a dropshipping store set up with a good supplier that's actually gonna support you when you start to build your brand and when you start to get your first couple sales. So before we dive into actually setting up Zendrop and everything it entails, I wanted to give you guys a brief rundown of a couple reasons why I love Zendrop, and that's just gonna bring me to their homepage. So when you pull up Zendrop right off the bat, if you scroll down past this video, you guys can see that these are the main core features they offer. And a couple of these are what I wanna to touch on in specific. So as you guys can see, fast shipping, automated drop shipping, world-class support, US products, brand development, real-time analytics, custom branding, subscription boxes, high volume sellers. So a couple things that I wanna say about this. Number one, custom branding. Customize your winning products to set yourself apart from the competition with private labeling, custom packaging on any product in our catalog. So Zendrop offers custom custom private labeling and custom packaging on every single product in their catalog. And if your product's not in their catalog already, once you start making sales, they're gonna do their best to add it to the catalog for you. However, you could always just import any product through Zendrop off of AliExpress, which we're gonna show you how to do later in this video. The custom branding aspect is just an insanely important thing to have because a lot of suppliers don't offer this until you're already making tons and tons and tons of sales or already at a point where you could go out and have basically any supplier do this for you anyways. But the cool part about Zendrop is they're allowing you to get access to this as a beginner. As you guys will see when I hop inside of Zendrop, you guys can actually add custom thank you cards to your order, even if you don't have any orders yet. The next thing is US products. So gain exclusive access to products from our catalog that ship in the US in three to five business days. So Zendrop has a catalog of US products that you guys can actually get on your stores and get shipped to customers within three to five business days. There's a whole section on Zendrop where you could sort through US products and you could find some of these products and sell some of these products and actually have three to five day shipping, which is nuts. Next thing I wanna talk about is fast shipping again. So start drop shipping 30 seconds with 1 million unique fast delivery products right at your fingertips. So even if they're not from the US, all the products that are on Zendrop's catalog are gonna have way faster shipping than you would traditionally find anywhere else, which is a really, really cool thing. And obviously one of the most key things that you're looking for when it comes to trying to find a good supplier for drop shipping. Next thing is world-class support. So this is really, really helpful because with any sort of supplier, you're gonna run into issues where you have problems, where you need help, where you need guidance, where you have a question. And and Zendrop offering world-class support is insanely helpful for this because anytime you have a question on anything, you could ask Zendrop 24 seven whenever you need it through the chatbot on their website or through opening a support ticket. Next thing I wanna talk about is gonna be automated drop shipping. So this is pretty cool because it literally allows you to just click a button and then all your orders will be fulfilled automatically. So basically, instead of you having to go in each day and place each order or manually fulfill each order, you can just turn on this button and then every time you get an order, Zendrop's gonna automatically fulfill fill it for you. So you literally don't have to do anything inside your store once you make sales to get the product shipped out, which is insanely helpful for obvious reasons. Now, these are just a couple things of the many reasons why I love using Zendrop. And as you can see, a lot of other people love using Zendrop as well. But with that being said, I'm going to actually make a test account so we could hop inside of Zendrop and you guys can see exactly what it looks like once you're actually inside, how to navigate everything and how to set everything up on your actual store. All right. So as soon as you hop into Zendrop, you're going to see this. This is essentially the Zendrop homepage or the Zendrop dashboard that you're gonna see when you first log into your account. Now, once you're inside of Zendrop, you're gonna see this left bar, which is gonna show you kind of all the areas you could navigate to. You're gonna see right up here, which is your profile, where you could go to billing notifications, help center, all that sort of stuff, log out if you need. And also you could switch this from light to dark or vice versa. I kind of like the light, so I'm gonna put it on that for now, just cause I usually have it on dark, switch it up a little bit. But other than that, you can access the help center right here. You could also type this chat box whenever you need help. So anytime you need help, click this little chat bot. You can type in there and get help directly from Zendrop, which is super, super cool. I love it when they have these chat bots that are always available because if it's super late and you need help or if it's super early and you need help. With that being said, on this homepage, obviously this is a test account, but if you have this on your actual store, you're gonna see all your fulfilled orders right here, your total orders, your total sales, your cost, and your overall profit, which is super cool. So you could even see your overall profit directly inside of Zendrop, which is insanely helpful because obviously Shopify is going to show you your revenue, but it's not going to show you your actual profit. Usually this is a number you would have to calculate. However, Zendrop calculates it for you inside of their dashboard, which is super, super sick. The next thing I want to talk about is the find products tab. 
So this is where you're gonna be able to search through any product that you want to put on your store. But right before this, I was talking about how Zendrop offers the opportunity for you guys to get access to products that ship from the US. And that's exactly what this section is. If you go to find products and you go ships from US, you can see all the products that are shipping from the US. However, I would just go ship from anywhere because regardless of if it's from the US or another country, Zendrop does their best to find the fastest shipping for you, no matter what product it is, as long as it's on their catalog. And you could also import a product that's not on their catalog from AliExpress at any time. But as you guys are going through here, say we're selling the sunset lamp, we would just type in our product and we would search it and see if it's on the Zendrop catalog. If it says buy Zendrop fulfillment, that means it's on the Zendrop catalog. So as you can see right here, this product's on the catalog. So are all these different variants. So we can just scroll through and kind of pick what variant we like most. If we click into the actual product listing, we could see more about it. We could see the cost. We could see more about the description. We could even put in a sample order to order it to our house ourselves if we want. Super, super cool, you guys, and offers a lot of different variants. As you can see, they don't just have one sunset lamp on their catalog, they have a bunch of different ones to give you guys options on the products you're selling so you guys can kind of filter through and see, hey, what's the best price for the best shipping? What's my best option, right? Zendrop's gonna allow you to really see that and evaluate your best option with whatever product it is you're selling, which is really cool. Now, say we go and find a product and we're like, hey, I wanna add this to my store. If I wanna add this product to my actual Shopify store, all I'm gonna do in Zendrop is click add to my products. Now, once I click add to my products, it's actually gonna be brought to the my products section. Inside of this my product section, I can now see my product, the sunset lamp, and I can now click review and publish. Now, when you're on the My Products tab, you can see basically all the products you added to what's called your import list. Essentially, what an import list is, is the in-between stage of a product going from Zendrop to your store. It's basically where you put all the last details on it and then click the final button to say, yes, I want to publish this onto my Shopify store. So what you can do right here, for example, in the Sunset Lamp, if this is the one I want to publish to my store, I click Review and Publish. Now I can go through the product, the description, the variants, and the images, and choose whatever images, whatever variants, and whatever description I wanna have for the product right here, as well as name it, and if I wanna have a product type or add it to a collection, I could also do that here. Now, when it comes to naming your product and actually getting the description to look good and all that sort of stuff, one thing that's super easy to do is just to copy all of this and just go over to ChatGPT, and once you're in ChatGPT, literally just paste this and say, make it better. And then you could also, if you have a brand name, say make it better and use my name, which is da 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 da, right? But basically now we just say make it better. And now ChatGPT has a way longer description that's way better for us. And now we're gonna go here and just go ahead and paste that in there. Obviously, Zendrop has really good descriptions for you that are way better than AliExpress already right off the bat, so you don't have to do this. This is just something extra that I wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to mess with the description or you have a description but you wanna add your brand name to it. You could simply just copy it, paste it into ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to do whatever you want, whether it's add your name to the description, whether it's you know make the description longer, make it shorter, whatever it is, you could tell ChatGPT and it does it in seconds, which is super cool. So. On descriptions, I usually like to make little spaces in between each paragraph so it's easier to read. So I just did that right here. And then when it comes to variants, I could actually edit the sales price right here. I could see the shipping cost, the product cost, and edit the sales price. So obviously we're going for a two to three X margin. So if I was selling this product, this product cost about $10 in total. So I would sell it for at least, you know, 20, I'd say let's do $24.99. And that gives us a $13.93 profit, which is essentially double what the product cost which is essentially the same as what the product cost because all in, it's at about $10. We're making $13 every sale. That's a totally fine profit margin. However, you could probably even go higher than this, but I would just start there, see if you make sales and then slowly raise it once you're making sales until you see those sales decline with the price being raised. But a lot of times I've seen in the past where I've raised prices of products and actually made more sales. It's weird, but it's because the perceived value that people have on a product that's more expensive sometimes encourages them to buy. Now this doesn't work with all products but with certain products it definitely does with something like this the sunset lamp i would definitely recommend you try to keep it cheap but this is obviously just an example so moving on as soon as you want to actually publish this product to your store you would just click publish to my store 
Now, obviously, if you sign up for Zendrop using my link below and you haven't already linked it to your Shopify store, as soon as you click publish to my store, there's gonna be a little notification right here that pops up and says connect your Shopify store here to start drop shipping with Zendrop. So now all I'm gonna do is click here and go ahead and connect my store. So when it comes to connecting my store, it says, hey, let's connect your Shopify store to Zendrop. I already have a store connect. I would like to build a store or claim my free custom built store, which is something that they're doing soon. But I already have a store connect. So what I'm gonna do is click that and then click continue. And basically now I'm gonna be able to just integrate Zendrop onto my Shopify store. Now, now the other way you guys could do this is just by going to apps and then typing in Zendrop. And then as soon as you type in Zendrop on apps, you're gonna be able to just install it there directly onto your store. And once you install it directly onto your store there, you're basically good to go and it's already set up. But I have a special link in the description that gives you guys a deal on Zendrop that you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on. So just make sure when you guys do sign up for Zendrop, no matter what way you do it, use my link. And then as soon as you use my link and sign up, it's gonna direct you to connect your store and do all that stuff like like we just did, but going to the app store and actually installing it directly through the Shopify app store is another way you could do this as well. However, if you want to get access to the special deal that I have for you guys, make sure you go to the link in the description and sign up for Zendrop now. With that being said, now that we have Zendrop installed on our store, all we're gonna do next is just go ahead and go back to my products and go review and publish and then just click publish to my store. Now, once we click publish to our store, it's gonna start loading. As you can see, it's publishing, and then it should say, hopefully published pretty soon. So let's see. As you can see, now the sunset lamp is no longer on my import list. And if we go to store listings and sourcings, we can also see that the sunset lamp is now linked and on my store. So if we click linked, we could actually see this product on the store now. And as you can see, it brought the description over, it brought the photos over, it brought the price over and everything that we had put in Zendrop. And now if I wanna even check out this product page, as you guys can see, this product is now live on my page, which is super, super cool. Now, obviously you guys, now that the product's imported to Shopify, we could even just look up the product in Shopify and customize it further in here. But now you guys have a product on your store imported from Zendrop and you're essentially ready to get started selling. However, there is a few more things I wanna show you guys about Zendrop that's gonna really help you utilize this platform to its max potential. So now that you know how to import products off the Zendrop catalog, let me show you how to import products that might not be already on the Zendrop catalog, but you wanna sell. So obviously a nice thing about Zendrop is they can source any any product. So even if it's not on their catalog, you can still source it. You just need to source it off of AliExpress and import it to Zendrop using the Zendrop AliExpress importer. So essentially what you can do to do that is go right here to this AliExpress import button. And once you do this or click that AliExpress import button, it's gonna prompt you to download a Chrome extension. So all we're gonna do once we pull up the extension is just click add to Chrome. And then as soon as we add this extension to Chrome, the next thing we're gonna be able to do is go ahead and actually use it on an AliExpress product so now we've got an AliExpress product pulled up and all we're gonna do right here is go ahead and click Zendrop pull up the Zendrop importer log into our actual Zendrop account and then all we're gonna do is click this little add to import list button and essentially that's gonna add this product back to our import list where then we can go to my products, edit it, and do all the same stuff that we just did. I also wanted to say, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you go to the link that's at the top of the description or pinned in the comment section and join my free course. I have a 100% free dropshipping course that teaches you A to Z, everything you need to know about dropshipping, and also gives you access to a group chat where you can message me directly with any questions whenever you need help, and even talk to me weekly on our weekly free live call. All of this is 100% free, I know it's a a ton of value to give away for free and that's also why I can't guarantee it's going to be free forever but it is free right now so that's why I wanted to take a second and just warn you guys that if you want to get access to this for free which has never been done before make sure you guys go to the link in the description and check out my free course or at least sign up and join it just to make sure you get free access because even if you don't use it now if you at least make sure you claim your access now then you're going to have access to it for free forever even if it is paid once again in the future which it could be so with that being said, make sure you guys go and take advantage of that free course right now and let's get back to the video.
So inside of these extras, number one is branding. This is super, super important and super, super crucial that you have turned on, especially if you're selling something from Zendrop's catalog. So as we talked about earlier, Zendrop allows you to send a custom thank you card in every single order that you get on your store. And that's what this is. So as you can see, create a personalized thank you card for each of your customers through our easy to use interface, fill out the details below and download a rendering to see what your customers will see when they unbox their orders. So you guys could either use their classic builder right here by just adding your brand logo, a title, and a message. Or what I like to do is use their custom builder and you guys could actually upload your own custom thank you card. So right here, it gives you the suggested size to use for the thank you card, which is 1200 by 840 pixels. And literally what you could do here is just go to Canva, search up this exact size, 1200 by 840, and search up thank you card templates. Obviously, you guys could also use your own design software or whatever you want or whatever you're familiar with, but I just use Canva because it's super simple and they have a ton of good templates, just like the one I use right here but essentially this gives you the option to upload your own custom thank you card if you want to make something custom and you don't just want to use the Zendrop classic builder now after you either use the classic builder or the custom builder and upload the thank you card literally all you need to do in order to make sure Zendrop sends this in every order now is click branding on it's usually like this as off just click it to on and boom, just like that, you're gonna have custom thank you cards shipped in every single order. Now to start actually utilizing this information, the next thing you need to do is number one, go to the link in the description and click try Zendrop for free. If you guys click that, it's my special link and that's literally gonna give you guys access to a deal that Zendrop made custom for me to give to you guys. So this deal is actually gonna allow you to get started for free and also give you a extended seven day free trial, 50% off for the first three months plus 200 dollars in order credits automatic fulfillment for hands-free deliveries live weekly coaching for expert help and e-commerce courses so you know exactly what to do this is literally everything you get when you sign up for zendrop using my link versus just going on the internet and doing it somewhere else so if you want to literally get 50 percent off for three months plus 200 dollars in order credits meaning for 200 dollars worth of your orders you're not going to have to spend anything because zendrop's going to literally pay for those orders for you, which is insane. And other than that, I hope you guys got some value from this video. My name is Jeremy Ray, and I'll see you in the next one.